Hi, I'm Mike West for BSW. Today we're going to demo the DBX286S mic processor. We'll show you how to make this budget-friendly processor your best broadcast pal. Now, the DBX factory settings for the 286S are voiced for musicians. While this is all well and good, it doesn't do spoken voice any justice. BSW Special Projects Engineer Gary Beebe, our hand model, is on hand today to show you the optimum settings for this processor. Okay, Gary, let's start with a mic preamp. First tip, you want to adjust the pre so the yellow lamp lights with excited speech. It's okay to go into the red occasionally. This setting is crucial because if this first step is not done correctly, nothing else will operate as expected. The Shure SM70 does not require phantom power, so no need to engage this button. Now, high pass. Use the mic's high pass switch if it has one, and in this case, the Shure SM7B does, and filtering closest to the source is always best. Process bypass. This disables the compressor, the deesser, the enhancer, expander gate, and the output. This leaves only the preamp and high pass filter engaged. It's normally off. Moving on to the compressor. Adjust the drive to light six to nine for typical speech, Loud speech may light 25 to 30. Adjust the density so the lights take about two seconds to extinguish when you stop talking. For sports and news applications, you can experiment with some higher density. The deesser. Don't use it if you don't need it. To control overly loud S sounds, set the frequency around 2 to 4K for male voices and 4 to 6K for female voices. Increase the threshold until the S sound is under control, but don't go too far or it's going to sound lispy. Now for the enhancer. Unlike common tone controls, straight up is not neutral position, with boost to the right and cut to the left. Off is completely counterclockwise. These only add enhancement and there is no cut. Low frequency detail adds low bass while reducing buildup of mid bass. It is a good effect, but you don't want to overdo it. High frequency detail makes quiet high frequency detail more prominent, adding a little sparkle. But again, a little goes a long way. Now the expander gate. Adjust the threshold until the light just switches to red. Then go two clicks more. Adjust the ratio two to one or three to one. The expander should open, and that's the green light, at the slightest sound. When you stop talking, Room noise will reduce. Higher ratios reduce background even more, but it can sound a bit unnatural. And the out. Set that to zero, straight up 12 o'clock. And if you're connecting to a mic input, set it to minus 30. To find the detailed voice setup sheet from Gary, or more information on the DBX286S, visit bswusa.com.